Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Playful Python. In today's video, we're going to see how we can use Python to access APIs and get data automatically using these APIs. The task we're going to do today is taking a look at this Covin platform. Covin is the platform through which you book vaccination appointments in India. In Covin, it allows you to search by district. Uh, you enter your district and then it will show you all the information about all the vaccination slots which are available. right? And uh, you can filter here. So let's say you want to search for age 18 to 44. You can see here that uh, all the slots here are booked. Right, 18 to 44 is a pretty huge category and so the slots tend to get booked really fast. Uh, we can actually use an API to get this data automatically and we can write a Python script which will do that. It can keep checking the API every five minutes or something and whenever there's a vaccination slot it could send an alert out. So in order to do this we need to have access to the API and uh, this is the site here which has got the Covin API. Uh, we're going to be using the Covin public APIs. You can see that on the right hand side here. When we use the Covin public APIs, uh, this is the server to which we need to access the data. And uh, the API we are going to use is this one, find by district, right? That's equivalent uh, to the search which we have done here, search by district. This is the equivalent API to that. So basically, our Python script uh, needs to call this URL. In order to access the API, we're going to be using the requests module. Requests doesn't come by default with Python, so you'll need to install it. So if you go to a command prompt and do pip install requests, that would in download and install requests. The first thing is uh, we need our URL over here. So this is the, the production server part and uh, this slash v2 etc etc is all mentioned in the documentation. Now this URL also requires some parameters. How do we figure out what parameters it requires? The documentation has information on that as well. If we look at this uh, API, it takes two parameters district ID and the date that you're looking for. The district I'm interested in is 517. You could put in whatever district ID you want there, or you can get this from the command line or wherever. Now I make a call to requests. I do a get request as it's mentioned in the documentation, and uh, I'll get a response back. And from that, I can take the JSON data. And uh, this data now has all the data which we saw in the UI over there. So let me just put this all into a function first. I'm going to take a start date as a parameter so that we can use it for any date. Okay, so this will format the date as day, month, year, and uh, it will make the request. Now, the response actually has got a lot of information in it. But what we are interested in is, uh, which is the vaccination site, which is the day, and uh, how much availability is it, and what is the age limit, because we are looking for 18 plus. So let us create another function here, which will pull out uh, just these four pieces of data from the response. So this dictionary here contains the four pieces of data we want. Now 
we want to loop through the sessions uh, one by one and uh, see which sessions matches our criteria. So let's create another function which is going to just extract the sessions alone. So we'll go through each combination of center and its sessions and we'll call the function which we just created. And that will uh, extract those four fields name, date, capacity and age limit. Once we do this, we can now loop through that. So this will give us all the sessions, right? But uh, we are interested only in uh, 18 plus and only if it has availability if it's fully booked we are not really interested in that so let's create two functions to check for these so if i'm given a session this will check that there are still some slots available and this will check that the age limit is 18 and above. So we are going to loop through all and filter out only those that match those two conditions. Our function is ready. This function is going to make a call to the API, get all the data and then it's going to go through all the sessions and give us a list. If it is 18 plus and it's available, then it's going to tell us that, okay, this session matches your criteria. Now that we have this, what we want to do is send out an email if there are any available sessions which matches that criteria. First, let us uh, create the output for our email. So we'll create a function here called create output. What this is going to do is create one line of the output. If this is a matching session, then uh, this piece of code will take uh, the date and then the site name and uh, also how many slots are available and now uh, we need to do this for all the available slots right so right so we let's uh, get for last seven days we'll pass today as the date okay so whenever we run the script it's going to take the current date and uh, make a request to the api in order to do this we need to import date time Right. So now we can use that. So this will give us all the sessions and what we want to do is go through each of these and uh, create output for them. This here will create a list of lines for each one and we'll just join it up with a new line. That is going to give us the content which we are going to use in the email. Now we need to create an email and put this if there is some content. If there is no content, we will just uh, print out there is no availability. In this case, uh, we don't want to send an email. right? If there is content, now what we want to do is send an email. We need to create an email object, connect to the email server and send this content out to the email server. In order to do this, we are going to be using two more modules. We are going to use the email module and we are going to use SMTP lib. Let me just rearrange my imports a little bit. The first thing we need to do here is to create an email object.
Okay, here we need to put our username. You would put your email address there. So let's assume that these two fields, you fill it in with your username and password, whatever it is. I'm going to assume we're going to send it from Gmail, right? But this can be customized to any provider. I'm going to send it from our account to our own account itself, right? So from username to username. And uh, for the content of the email message, we're going to put the content that we created here in line 34. Okay, now that we've actually created the message, we would want to connect to the email server and send out the email. This is where SMTP lib comes into the picture. I'm going to go send this out uh, through my Gmail account. These are the settings. In order to send via Gmail, you'll need to log in, right? So you'll need to put your email, username and password there. And finally, once we successfully log in, send the email. So that's the script. You can put this on a scheduler, make it run every morning from 8 to 10, hit the API every five minutes. And then whenever a slot opens up, this script will then send you an email and alert you and you can then go in and check out the site to do your slot.